One teen's in the hospital and two more are in custody after a would-be robbery ended in gunfire. Everything we know tonight, including what police say led to the shooting. We quickly transitioned from fall to winter this week as we're looking at not only our first snowfall of the season, but some record breaking cold temperatures as well. Plus this video of a Yokes employee confronting a customer who wasn't wearing a mask went viral. We'll hear from that customer and the man who shot the video. Plus new tonight, Yokes is responding. Good evening and thank you for joining us for Krem News at 10. I'm Mark Hanrahan. Hello everyone, I'm Regina On. Well, two teenage suspects are in custody and one man in the hospital after authorities say an attempted robbery ended in a shooting. It happened just yesterday afternoon on Spokane South Hill, right behind a popular restaurant and shopping plaza. Spokane County Sheriff's deputies closed down the crime scene again today, searching for evidence. And that's where Krem News Morgan Trow is tonight. She joins us now for the latest. A shooting victim is in stable condition following getting shot in the torso Sunday afternoon. I spoke with officers and with witnesses about what they saw and what they know. Corporal Mark Gregory with the Sheriff's Office says that multiple shots were fired into the victim's car on 55th Avenue in between Regal and Crestline Street. Two teenagers allegedly tried to rob him and steal his vape pens. The victim called 911 and was taken to the hospital. I spoke with a neighbor who is familiar with the family and says he would have never expected this from the boys. He saw at least five police vehicles pull up and arrest the two suspects Sunday evening. Police found a semi-automatic weapon at the home and suspect it may have been involved. There are still questions surrounding the motive and intent of the boys who are being charged with first degree assault. Police do not expect gang ties right now. The 16 and 17 year old suspects are expected in juvenile court Tuesday afternoon. Reporting on the South Hill, Morgan Trow, Krem 2 News. All right, we're going to switch gears, talk about the weather. It was mild, pretty breezy start to the work week, but it's about to get cold, really cold. Virginia. No, I thought it was already <laughs> cold yesterday. No, well, not even close. Not even close. <laughs> All right, well, meteorologist Thomas Patrick joining us now to break down what's in store for the rest of this week. Hey there, Thomas. Yeah, hey there, guys. And yeah, it's always that first winter event of the season that always feels a bit more dramatic than what it is because we've experienced winter before. We know it can get a whole lot worse, but it's always that first time when our computer models show something like this that we all kind of gasp and uh, say, oh, winter is a little bit closer than we expected. That's what we're going to be detailing coming up in a little bit. So hold on to some of the more specific details when it comes to the snowfall later on this week. But realize this, it's not just here in Spokane. It's most of the northern US is going to be experiencing either the bitterly cold temperatures and in many states, even tonight, already some early season snowfall that has been falling anywhere between Montana and Wisconsin. Even from this evening, looks like that's going to continue not only this weekend, but even into next week as well. But as for today, it was actually quite mild, if not a little bit windy. So not doing too bad for tonight at 48 degrees and our winds have now calmed down quite a bit. In fact, tomorrow's going to end up being the nicest day remaining this week because the winds have calmed down. We'll see a little bit of sunshine in the afternoon. Temperatures a little cool in the morning. That's no problem for October mid 50s for the afternoon high temperature. That's the warmest will be for the rest of this week because as you saw right at the top of the broadcast, more snow where our first snow is on the way. So I'm going to be detailing the confidence and what we know and don't know at this stage of the forecast all coming up in a few minutes. All right, Thomas, thanks so much for that. Well, to our other headlines now, a former Cooley City Police Chief was in court today facing fraud charges. Investigators say Brenda Cavaretto lied when she received $67,000 in benefits. Back in 2012, she claimed a nearly 300 pound corpse fell on her on the job. Washington State Department of Labor and Industries reports that she claimed to suffer back, shoulder, and abdominal injuries. She also claimed she suffered psychological trauma, preventing her from working. However, a state investigation later found that she was working as a pinup model. Her attorney called the fraud accusations, quote, baseless. Meanwhile, investigators say a man stabbed four people and a dog in the Spokane Valley yesterday. One of those victims is a four year old child and police say everyone, including the dog, is expected to recover from their injuries. And now the stabbing happened at a home on North Velox, just south of Garland Avenue. And according to police, the man had been using meth and hadn't been sleeping. Police say after the attacks, 43 year old James Neal left the house in a stolen car. He was suspected of stealing another car shortly after that.
Now, during the pursuit, authorities used spike strips to stop Neil from getting away. Well, he eventually crashed the car and that didn't stop him, though, and he started running off on foot. Investigators finally stopped him by using beanbag rounds and taking him into custody. Meantime, in Moses Lake, a man facing animal cruelty charges after a neighbor posted a disturbing video online. That video shows a man in his backyard punching a dog over and over and another dog seen running away from the man. We are not going to show the video, by the way. Police say a neighbor took the video through the fence and that started the investigation. Dakota O'Keefe told officers he beat the dog because it killed a chihuahua in his house. Officers did find the body of a chihuahua in the home. Investigators say it did appear to have been killed by another animal. There were more than 10 other dogs in the home, by the way, when officers arrived, including two litters of puppies. Those puppies were found to be not for profit at the time. The dog in the video is now safe at the Grant County Animal Outreach Center. All right, still ahead tonight, we have your other local top stories here on Crimson News at 10. And with the election still a couple of weeks away. There's a lot of early voting all over the country, and this is a real important election. Up next, we break down how you can cast your vote early in North Idaho. And this video went viral over the weekend. It shows a Spokane Yokes employee confronting a customer who wasn't wearing a mask. Tonight, the company is responding.